What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and in this step, we'll be talking about startup items. So we'll be removing startup items so your system will start faster. I mean, because, like, QuickTime? Really? You really need QuickTime on there? All right, hey, if you say so. All right, now in this step, we're simply going to disable startup items because a lot of times programs will automatically enable themselves to start up with your computer. And the problem with this is sometimes those problems will eat up your memory and resources and slow down your computer. So to find out what's really running when your computer starts, just click on the start menu, then type in run. Click on run here at the top. Then we're just going to type in M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. Then click OK. Now, from this screen, we'll just simply click on Startup. Right here, we have all the items that start up with my computer. We have all the items checked that I currently have start up with my computer. So, for instance, I really don't need Google updates, so I'll uncheck that one. Depending on how many programs you have starting with your computer and how many programs you don't, one thing I like to do is just simply disable all, then restart the computer, if you're missing something you absolutely have to have, just go back and turn it on. Then when you have all the programs set that you'd like to start and you don't like to start, just click OK. And there you go, you've just set your startup program, which is a really simple and easy step, but it can affect your system quite a bit. And a lot of times, you'll have items down here in the taskbar that you really don't know are running, but actually are running and are eating up your memory. So. Just take a look at those, and like I said, that's how you access your startup items and how you enable and disable the items you'd like to have. And more times than not, this will definitely help the startup time of your computer, and as well as that, your computer's general speed if you have a lot of those programs that are just sitting there eating up processes and memory. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.